Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, I have a haul slash decor clean-ish type video for you guys today. Um, before we actually get started in decorating, I wanted to show you the decor that I just recently bought from Hobby Lobby. It is summertime decor, um, so meaning like 4th of July, red, white, and blue, um, you know, USA, American, Americana style decor. Um, I've never honestly decorated for really any other holidays except for fall slash Halloween and Christmas. So I'm kind of excited for this. I was inspired by, I think it's on cloud Klein. I will try to remember to leave her link down below. Everything is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I really like Hobby Lobby. They have a lot of the rustic decor that I like. It fits in with my farmhouse style. Um, how do I say it? Design, decor that I have otherwise. So I feel like this would just fit in with everything that I already have because everything is fairly neutralized anyway. Um, everything was on sale for 40% off. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys can already see the sign here behind me. Um, it's a little hard to show in this frame, so I'll try to insert a big a shot here of it. But I absolutely love it. Um, it's pretty tall. I would say it's about five foot tall or so. Um, I haven't decided where I'm going to put it. If I put it um, in our front entryway on the inside or if I'm going to put it outside in our front door. Um, our front door gets a lot of sun so I'm a little afraid that the sun will ruin the sign. So I might just keep it inside. Um, but I haven't decided that yet. I love how rustic it looks. You know, it was $27.99 and then again it was 40% off of that. So whatever that is, I'll let you guys do the math on these. So up next is this other, it's like a shutter. Now, um, this, I, oh, I just love the rustic look of these, you guys. Again, it's kind of big to fit in the frame, so I'm going to try to insert um, some footage here so you guys can see. I just, it's not exactly white, it's kind of like an antique white, cream, off-white color with the red and the blue and stripes and stars. This here was $19.99 um, for the regular price. Alright, so I also grabbed this pillow. I love the details on this pillow, this like trim here. Um, I can't think what this is called, but I just, I love how rustic this looks. Uh, again, super cute. I just, I just love it. And it was $27.99 uh, regular price, which I- All right, and then I also picked up this um, table runner. It looks like, so the underneath is blue and then the upside or the right side <laughs> um, is stripes and stars. The stars are on either side and then the stripes and I actually think I'm going to put this right here behind me on the fireplace so we'll see. We'll see how this goes but this price was $13.99. So I also um, picked up this garland. Um, I am going to probably put this on my china cabinet in the dining area. Um, it's basically like twine with fabric scraps literally tied to it that's literally what it is so but I thought it was cute and it is let's see $11.99 originally price all right so I also picked up some uh, kitchen towels I'm not sure how we'll, we'll see how these work out because usually we hang up our other towels on the stove I think I'll probably put these on the dishwasher though and I was gonna kind of overlap them because I thought that would be kind of cute. But, and I love that this says Stars and Stripes Forever and it's embroidered into the towel. So these <clears throat> were $5.99 for this one and then $6.99 for this one. I picked up this sign here. It's metal and then it has like a little um, stand on it. So it says God Bless America. Again, it's like got that rustic kind of 
um, painting on it. It was $4.99. I'm going to put this on the dining room table, I think. Again, don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you all, um, all the places that I sit these out. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right, and then I also picked up this sign, Home of the Free, because of the Brave. Again, I love the rustic um, design, or the metal details on this. I just thought they were super cute. I just like it. And then uh, this one was $9.99 regular price. All right, so then I also picked up these three little stars. They're, they are kind of small, if you can kind of tell comparison to my hands here. Um, but I thought they were kind of cute and just something that is simple to add a little bit of the 4th of July Independence USA theme, um, to like a little shelf or something like that. So I thought it was super cute. I got the flag. Again, they're rustic, um, <clears throat> design here with the buffalo check or buffalo plaid. They were $3.99 regular price, um. Each. So I also picked up this candle. It does smell really good. The red actually smells like cinnamon. So I don't know what the rest of it smells like. Um, let's see. It, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what flavor or flavors um, scents that they are, but if you um, look right here over my shoulder, um, that little lantern, I'm going to put this inside that lantern. Oh, and its price was regularly uh, $6.99. All right, and then I got two more pieces here, and then we'll get into the decorating, guys. Um, I picked up this little beaded, um, what do you call these, picks? Yeah, picks. Um, that just has, I just thought the colors were very rustic. I like how they have the little bead type things on here. I thought this would be cute to just kind of put in a little vase um, that I have over on a shelf over here. And then I also picked up this American flag. It's metal. Um, I would thought I would put it all in the same thing together just to kind of give it a little bit of a style. So this pick was $3.99 and then the flag was $2.99 regular price. So that's my haul from Hobby Lobby. Stay tuned. We're going to jump in to the decorating portion. Since I was going to be adding the new summer decor in, I thought I would go ahead and take these pictures in the decal down because I ended up finding a cute mirror at Lowe's on clearance for 20 bucks and I really wanted to hang it right here above the bench so I thought I would go ahead and use this time to do so. I do want to add that there are way better ways to hanging up a picture than the way I am going about it. I just kind of wanted to get it up on the wall and hung up. Um, I definitely think that I need to put some drywall, drywall screws in here instead of just the regular screws that I had. I also will have to go back in and touch up the nail holes where the pictures were originally hung. And yes, I know it's crooked. I couldn't decide if it was the mirror or the bench, to be quite honest, um, but I will fix that. It is what it is, but it's cute. That's the most important. I did go back and forth on how I wanted to put this pillow, and I did leave it here, but I wanted to go back and change it after watching this so we'll see I kind of play around with things after you sit and kind of stare at it for a little while then you kind of decide if you like it or not you know what I mean guys these are the pictures that I just took off the wall it is the kids 
school pictures, um, you'll see me put them all up there and then I had to take them back down because I forgot to put the table flag runner <laughs> up. So I just kind of played around. But anyway, I did go ahead and put the candle in the little lantern there. I'm not totally sure that I love it. I feel like it's too small for that space or for the space of the lantern. I don't know. Give me some ideas down in the comments below, guys. Help me out here. I also couldn't decide if I like the shutter there or not. I actually do like it there now that I've left it there, um, but I wasn't sure at first, but I just love the shutter so much that I didn't not want to buy it. <laughs> but I do like it where I put it, so it works out. I was also having some trouble with these picks. Oh, they were, they were being a pain too. stand I made and then the salt and pepper shakers the candle and the little floral jar thing is from um, Bed Bath & Beyond but you'll see I did add the God Bless America sign there and then I do come back um, and add the brave home of the brave home of the free because of the brave Americana sign back here by my recipe books. So just a small little tip, if you guys like to hang banners from like your china cabinet or something like that, um, I screwed these little eyelet hooks into like little cardboard cutout corner pieces that were already attached to my china cabinet. I just screwed them right into that. Um, because I hang banners for Christmas too, and I actually just got some for Easter this year, so I thought that would make it much easier instead of keep using tape like I usually do. Alrighty guys, so this is it. This is how the final decor turned out where I placed everything. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. Go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on your way out and I will see you in the next one. Bye!